Hey everybody, it's Whiskey coming at you. We're going to go ahead and get on to Let's Play number 6. If you remember at the last part of Let's Play number 5, we talked about getting to Blue Science. So let's get that done. I will try and get the walls done too in between, but we got a lot going on in this episode. So to do Blue Science, we need to get oil processing going. Also, I'm hoping you guys noticed, I went ahead and took some time and effort and, and made myself a launch screen for the the Let's Play series and I also did an exit screen for it too so I hope you guys are really enjoying those if you do please let me know in the, the comments because I put a lot of time and effort into them and I'm, I'm hoping you guys enjoyed them as much as I enjoyed making them because it was a lot of, it was actually kind of a lot of fun I really enjoy it also coming up soon we are going to have the new release of Factorio going that's uh, 0.13 it's currently being tested out I'm not gonna switch to it because I got all these mods that I'm running and none of them have been fully updated yet so with that in mind I'm just gonna go ahead and, and hang off uh, on making the leap so we'll get to that as soon as the all the issues get worked out and as soon as all the mods come back online and once all the mods are back online we're gonna hit that new release hard. There's a lot of really cool things in it. So if, if you haven't watched the video for the .13 release yet, you need to go do that because it's it's gonna be sweet. I am legitimately excited about it. If you can't tell. So all right. So what? In order for us to get our oil production going, I'm gonna have to start getting some pump jacks a rolling because well, let's face it, we need them to pump oil out of the ground. It just doesn't appear places, which I mean, it's kind of unfortunate. We need steel production anyway, and I don't know why I've waited this long to do it. So shame on me. We will go ahead and get that rolling. That will also probably seriously tax our current setup for iron production, but we'll, we'll see. Uh, steel production doesn't require a whole lot of effort. It's basically a duplication of what we've already done, but I also don't want to put my steel production line too close to the iron production line because I want iron to take precedent because it, it gets used a lot more than steel does. But we'll go ahead and clear this out. We'll get that rolling because we need it. And if I plan on getting two blue science packs in this Let's Play video like I keep promising that I'm going to do, we need to get it done now. So let's get this taken care of. One of the cool things, uh, I'll just go ahead and briefly spoil some people's fun with regards to what's coming up in uh, not point one three. Basically, they've gone and they have made some tweaks to the way that trains work. They've gone and made some tweaks to some of the textures. Not all the textures, most of the textures are unchanged. They've gone and made some tweaks to the inserters. There's a lot of really cool things in it, so... Uh, I'm, I'm, I'm legitimately excited for, for the changes. I think they are going to be very, very handy and very, very nice changes. And they will make this game just that much more appealing. The, the, train, ch Oop. the train changes are actually very important. Uh, one of the big problems with trains right now is you, if you try and do stations in the vertical, it does not work. And the reason it does not work is because the train length actually changes slightly and because of that you can't do uh, we want engines you you can't do any uh, vertical stations that you you actually lose a inserter slot so losing that inserter slot actually slows down unloading and loading of trains that's bad we don't want that also, steel production is going to help out. I'm going to be able to get rid of these stupid... Really? Well, we're going to be able to get rid of the stupid iron... Yep, go ahead and do that. Iron pickaxe and, and get to the... Oh, my. We need more iron axes. Get rid of these iron axes in favor of the steel axes, which actually are significantly more efficient. That's one other thing that's coming in point one three is uh, removing tracks is going to be a lot quicker. Also, we're going to have a blueprint book, which is handy.
Um, let's see, what other changes do we got coming up? Um, did I put that in the right? Yes, I did. Just doesn't look like it. Engines. Do do. Oh, they've the the train model has changed. That is one thing that did change. Is the train model changed slightly, and with that, you can now change the colors of it. So now I can have uh, my my copper trains be copper colored, and my iron trains be iron colored. I guess that's blue-ish in this game for the the ores. So that that's that'll be kind of neat to play around with. They also added some new tiles that I think are going to be really cool. Uh, they added caution tiles to the concrete, so you can now have the, the cool yellow and black caution stripes like I've got on the side of my brand new um, opening menu. I guess it's not really a menu, the opening, uh, opening scene for these Let's Play videos. And that'll be fun to play with. I, I'm, I'm, I'm really looking forward to that. That I think is going to be the coolest thing ever. Um, I need me some some mo. Also, they've added in filling in wa areas around water. You can fill that in with land, but it's ridiculously expensive with stone. So I don't know how well that's all going to plan out, pan out. Hopefully, it, it works out. I mean. I guess if you if if you're lucky enough and you get all the the stone resources, it's not that big of a deal. We are just rolling away with with research here. And oh, they've added power switches, so you'll be able to switch sections of your factory on and off stuff that uses electricity. So if you wanted to turn off all the inserters to your to your steel production, you could do that. I don't know why you would do it to steel, but you could if you wanted to. <clears throat> because reasons. That that's that's the reason why they want to allow you to do that. It's because reasons. And that's good enough for me. And look at us go. It also helps that a lot of the stuff that we're researching is very, very easy. Not terribly resource intensive when it comes to science packs. And bam! We also need 10 of those. We'll need more, but for right now that will work. They've made some changes to, to belts. I think probably the belts and, and sorry, not not just belts, but belts and uh, pipes, underground pipes. So one of the one of the big changes coming up with underground pipes is that you'll be able to click and hold and drag, and it will do them at max length for the entire time you're holding. Just unbelievably handy because. If we get oil production done in this this video, you'll see very, very, very how very tedious it actually is to run all of that line. And long handled inserters. Stop moving. And power. And we are rolling with steel. Now, steel production, it's going to be slow for a little bit, but it'll catch up here as soon as all of this gets done. And while it, that's a going, we'll, uh, we'll keep expanding it, because I, I built 10 more of these. That way we'll have 20 of the furnaces rolling out steel.
which should be plenty. The 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 science area, if you remember from the from the blueprint, it will actually have its own little steel production. So that the only resources we need to run up there are petroleum and iron and copper. Everything else gets produced up there. And go ahead and extend our belt. Oh, they've also added in forest fires. So, I've not actually used the flamethrower that's in the game at this point in time. However, it's been my understanding that it doesn't currently burn down large swaths of forest. So, that'll be an interesting change. I can be a, an eco-terrorist. Just what I always wanted to be. Uh, of course, I'm joking. <laughs> You guys haven't realized that by now. I don't know what to make of you. And really, one freaking belt. <laughs> irritating. Very, very irritating. Uh, we need. Let's go ahead and get our. Oh nope, that's blue. Yep. We'll get oil or fluid handling there. That will give us our rail tankers. We won't be using rail tankers for quite some time because these oil patches down to the south are actually plenty close for what we plan on doing. So I'm not terribly worried about them. How many pump jacks can we build? None, because I need more iron. That should do it. Four. That's because I'm low on steel. That's because it's producing very slowly. Keep chopping wood here. Make this all nice and purdy. And then what I think we'll do is we'll dump all of the, the steel into a chest. That way I can pick it up easy until it becomes needed later on down the assembly line. Also, with this being in line of everything, I think we'll be I think we'll be okay to expand the iron line. We might have to you know, if push comes to shove, we can always expand the iron line later. Halfway through this video here, and still no oil. So blue, blue, uh, blue science packs might be a pipe dream. No pun intended. We're still gonna rush. We're gonna get. We're gonna get there. It needs to get done here soon. Uh, gonna need more long-handled inserters. We are now producing steel at a pretty good clip. So. Um, it at least exists in some form. We do have enough now f for our pump jacks, so we will get them rolling now that they are t everything else for the iron or steel production is done. Let's get power running. And. There's power. It's overwhelming. Props if you can name what game that's from. Actually, there you go. Go ahead and, uh, if you know the answer to that question, go ahead and post that in the comments. That's a, that's a good question. Not that it's related to Factorio. Nobody cares about things being related to Factorio. And we're going to need a bunch of pipe. Also walls. Might as well have the walls. So, with this being down here where it's at, yeah, 
we are going to wall off this entire thing all the way across. That's going to be the only way that we are going to be able to effectively defend those oil derricks. We're also going to have to build ourselves some of the big electric poles, which have a, th I want to say it's 30 square distance. So they can they can transmit power for 30 squares. Not in huge like they're they're high, they're like the high voltage power lines you see running across country. You know they they don't power a big area around them. They just power uh, they just have a long distance that they can travel between poles. Yeah. Now this I'm I'm hoping these oil spots. Well, one I'm hoping they're not buried in forest because that's going to be painful. But I, I'm really hoping that. Uh, that they've got a pretty pretty sizable yield because these are gonna have to last us 94 percent really 213 I guess that's not terrible it's not great either and we got three to the south here 218 231 267 so okay we got a decent amount here I I'm not completely upset by this this isn't uh, this isn't like rage quit. We're not to that level yet. Yep. <laughs> oh, trees. So that's uh, one other thing that they have gone and added in in the next one is if you have blueprints and there's trees in the way you'll be able to the robots will automatically cut them down that holds true for the rails and I believe it holds true for just the regular blueprints too which would mean I would have to turn this giant wall whoa how rude that's not what I wanted it to do at all what was it thinking? And of course now I can't see anything to actually fix it. Dear trees, cut yourself down. <laughs> well, this will have to work for right now. I think we've gotten them all. Okay. I suppose that's the problem with running through a forest, is you get bumped around by the trees. And when that happens, the wall moves. I don't know that we're going to get... Well... Yeah, we might as well. How everyone totally wanted to watch this entire Let's Play episode get done. Here's Whiskey running across the map, laying all sorts of walls. On the upside, our pump jacks are done. Now we're just building our underground pipes, which we're going to need so much of. Might as well get the big electric poles a-rolling, too. I think we'll deal with these tree situation here. Hopefully, uh... Nope, oh, that one's complete. So yeah, I really can't wait for the next patch to come out. I think it's going to be a very exciting patch with the changes it makes. The, the train length fix and the, the way that the, the tracks are going to be generated procedurally instead of, uh, I guess procedurally is the wrong way to put that. It's going to, it, it, it's more fluid. Basically you pick a start point and an end point and there's two different modes. There's uh, a mode that does the most direct route and then there's the a mode that does the 
most optimized route without making any changes to the like without cutting down trees or, or around obstacles I guess is the, the best way to call that the <laughs> the around obstacle method yep go ahead and research flight that will give us robo ports and robo ports also require red circuits who would have thunk it all right we'll just go over there and get our pump jacks rolling I'm not sure if biters can get through those if they can that's fine we've still got the turrets set up up by our base oh, oh rocks so uh, rocks the stone rocks will be mineable in the next in the next patch as well so you'll be able to mine them with your pickaxe so that you no longer have to shoot them because right now the the only fix is to shoot them and blow them up which is kind of a waste of ammo it takes I want to say it's like 15 complete regular magazines with all the full damage upgrades to destroy one which in my opinion is a a touch ridiculous. Uh, yeah, close enough. Come up here. We want these guys to go this way. And what we'll do is we will have all of the oil come into this one pipe and we will run this whole thing all the way up to our base. <laughs> and that is how quickly that goes away. Now, do, 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 do. We got plenty of guns. We could use some, pick up some more ammo on our way up. We are so getting close. Ah. So that would be one. This area would be one nice area to to use that landfill to smooth out some of these these lakes. It'd also be handy for power generation stuff up here. You know, you'd be able to set the set the the shore that your pumps are setting on. Now they don't. They haven't talked anything about being able to remove land and, and have it fill with water. Like if it was if it was next to, we're gonna need to expand that in, in a video here too. Um, you'll be able to expand this little this line you know they haven't done that yet you, you can you can smooth out the coast but it's not going to oh yeah look so we need more we definitely need more iron ore in fact it's not even really making it down this side completely but Grab these. Give me one steel chest. We're going to dump a bunch of wood into it. And then blow it up. Maybe. Wait, wait, wait. Don't need a pistol. Perfect. Okay. We've got a whole bunch of underground pipe. We've got plenty. Maybe not plenty. Now we've got plenty of iron. In case we need more. We are going to need more big electric poles. So we'll get that a rolling. Now had I been smart I would have started running electrical poles. That's forethought. That's not allowed. That's just not allowed in these Let's Play videos. We must do things that don't make sense. Robotics. Get that done. And then we're going to spend some time 
upgrading all of our military stuff. So turret damage, turret speed, shooting speed, and shooting damage. Those will all be very, very important. It's nice to see we've got some other resources laying around so we're not completely up Poop Creek without a paddle. Also, I'm hoping that the video quality in this video is gonna is gonna go up. What I noticed after the last video, and I don't know why it took me this long to notice, but I noticed after this last video that there was some issues with the video quality not being in, in 1080p, and I was a little confused by that. I think I fixed it. I after I've had to reinstall Windows 10, not since we started the Let's Play, but I've had to reinstall Windows 10 a couple times and reinstall Open Broadcast Software, which is the software I use for the uh, recording side of all my videos, rather than using a, a full-on uh, video capture software. And the reason for that is because I, I used to stream and I've, I'm just familiar with this, so we're kind of sticking with it. Um, and I like open broadcasting software, the open broadcasting software. It, it does a really good job f and it's free, which is nice. I am all about the free when it comes to these kinds of tools. I do use PowerDirector 10, uh, not 10. Wow, that's an old version. I used to have PowerDirector 10. I'm on 13 and I think they're... I want to say on 16 or 17, but um, that's the video editing software I use. That, that's been actually a really good investment. It, it may not be the most powerful video editing software available, but it does work really well. Okay, so we need, nope, yeah, not lasers because we don't have any of those, so I guess we'll go bullet damage. Oh, they are adding flame turrets to the next patch. That will be interesting. They have an arc ahead of them that they can shoot. And if the object is in too close, it can't it can't uh, it can't hit them either. There's a, a distance that they have to be from you to to have it hit. So that'll be kind of interesting to see how it plays out. I don't know that I'm going to use it. it. It can run on on straight up crude. It can run on heavy oil and it can run on light oil. And from my experience with resource spawner overhaul, those resources, oil resources in general, are too rare to too rare and not long lived enough to actually consume them outside of industrial processes. So I'm not going to, probably not going to use them unless they come up with some other method of lighting stuff on fire. I might throw one up just for, for the grins of it and to show it off. Why not? It also, that they've changed the flame effect some, so that, that'll be kind of helpful. That'll be interesting to, to see just from the standpoint of how they look. Mm, I've been told they look actually pretty sweet, so... I think we're gonna go a little bit longer on this video. Not not hugely long, but we're gonna finish up oil. That's what we'll do, is we'll finish up oil in this video. And... Man, I was hoping to actually get Blue Science going. I guess that will be our title for the next video is Blue Science finally after all these promising being the you know the teenage girl tease after prom or what have you um we yep we'll just keep going up in bullet damage I also really hope I'm not running out of underground pipe you can see how tedious this is. This is what I was getting at. In the next patch, you'll be able to... How oh, phooey. In the next patch, you'll be able to actually... Um, 
click and hold and it will automatically place all the pipe at max distance like that is going to be tremendously handy there will be no more of this like double click stop you'll just click and hold like you're dragging a a line of uh of belt which is the really oop which is really the way it should be the way it should have been also they're changing the they I may not need my train monitor anymore because of what they're planning on doing we'll, we'll have to play around with with the with the patch when it comes out just to make sure but they've made some changes to the way the trains are going that's going to be interesting and different because I'm used to the this train monitor that I've currently got which is a mod we are almost there I say now whoop there it is okay <clears throat> Yes, that was me singing a song from way back when. That's really not way back when. I'm sure there are people that are watching this channel that are remembering music live from a lot older than that. Okay, so we are going to run some power down there and get everything all powered up and... This is much quicker. Oh, nice. You can actually click and hold this, and it will place it at max distance. I did not know that. Hello, Handy. For my German watchers, no, I'm not talking about your cell phone. That joke may be lost on an American audience. That's fine. Handy is the German word, or German word for cell phone. Come down one more, and then we will go over. Now that those are pumping, I'm going to need... Nope. Go away, go away, go away. Let's get all this piping hooked up. That's hooked up, that's hooked up. Get me some more power. Which does remind me we are going to want to pay attention to our power usage up at the other end. Okay, so this is pumping, pumping. We've got oil a flowing. Follow the oil pipeline, make sure it's making it all the way up. We will call it then at that point as soon as we get all the way back up there. I just want to make sure that we got oil flowing through the whole pipeline. Still got oil. I think this did indeed make it all the way up there. So that that will be that will be the end of this video, man. We didn't really accomplish all that much. I guess we put the southern wall up and got oil. Oil oil will be a big deal. I mean, that's a big deal. I just I was hoping to get more out of it. I wanted to get. I wanted to get Blue Science rolling. That's alright. We'll catch it in the next video. And... We have oil all the way to the end, so... Alright, so that's uh, Let's Play number six. 
Let me know in the comments what you guys think of the new graphics for the beginning and end of, of each one of these videos. I'm, I'm, I'm hoping you like them. Like I said, I put some time and effort into them. If I need to make some changes, I guess I'll make some changes. But if you like them, leave a comment. Like, comment, subscribe. This is Whiskey. Thanks for watching.